This is the Captain's Jug of Thoughts podcast. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. We're back. What's going on? Uh, we had a great weekend. Yeah? Yeah, first annual Stone Jug Meatball Cook-Off. Right, we discussed that last time. Yep, and uh, well, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Dave Perot, Bison Logo, Bob Woods, uh, for helping me put on a great event. Um, we raised four thousand dollars for Leukemia Foundation, nice. which was really fucking great. So uh, everybody, everybody involved, everybody that was involved, thank you very much um, for all your help uh, in making this thing a success. Um, Jug had a great day. The Leukemia Foundation had a great day. Uh, everybody was full, happy, drinking. What kind of uh, what was the spread? What was the meatballs? Um, so we did a, we did a first place, a second place and a most unique. So, um, they were mostly, um, mostly uh, Italian style meatballs, you know, normal, but we had, uh, we had a couple, uh, different, uh, Asian style meatballs, bang, bang meatballs. Bang, bang, what's that? That one most unique. Okay. Um, it's a type of Asian meatball, but, um, they're called bang, bang meatballs. They got a little bit of kick to them. They got this little, like mustardy yellow sauce on them uh i don't know how to explain it exactly yeah. but they're they were good really good well a bang bang from louis ck show <laughs> was uh they would go get a meal at a restaurant like a full meal and then le- walk out the door and go directly to another place yeah and it was him and bobby kelly and they're like want a bang bang <laughs> they're like what, pizza indian he's like nah about barbecue diner <laughs> they would go hit barbecue and then go right to a diner and just have a second meal oh that's funny and then there was a cute waitress who recognized louie and oh, yeah. Bobby told her what they were doing. And Louie's like, come on, man. <laughs> the waitress is like, are you a comedian? Like, yeah. He's like, we're doing a bang bang. She's like, what's that? <laughs> like, we just eat ourselves to death. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, gross. <laughs> so bang bang balls. Bang bang balls. That's pretty cool. Were they little little guys, big guys? How was uh, the size? Everybody's, everybody's sizes were different. Basically, the, um, the, the premise of the entire thing, what we put online and what we told everyone was um, no less than two pounds of meatballs per tray um and no less than 20 meatballs mm-hmm. so some people had exactly 20 yeah. that weighed out to two pounds uh some people had like 50 that were like five pounds you know so um but it worked out incredible everybody was full drunk and happy you yeah, know so that's cool and that's all you really want at the end of the day and and uh you know everybody donated what what we did was um it was 20 dollars to enter and you got a salad um, as, as many meatballs as you could have with DiCamello's bread. And $10 um, went toward the Leukemia Foundation, and $10 went toward, like, um, prizes and stuff. Oh, I'd like to thank Hamilton Beach, too. The, um, I got, uh, uh, they donated a bunch of crock pots and pressure cookers and stuff like that nice. for prizes. And uh, Dave actually won. <laughs> Dave wrote it? Yeah. Nice. So we deferred. Well, the fix is in. <laughs> we deferred first to fourth. Okay. Um, so fourth place got the main prize, which was like everyone was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> but um, but the guys that already won, like are the guy, the guys that were in fourth, didn't have a crock pot or anything. Yeah. So they brought theirs in like this foil thing, and they were like, "Fingers crossed." <laughs> we got one. And the in-laws got me one for for uh, what is, it says Yellowstone on it, like the show, right? Oh. Is it from the show? Yeah. I think so. Oh, wow. And it's pretty good. Oh, we uh we whipped up something with it for Christmas. It was great, but it had oh. that er, uh, new appliance smell when you start wearing oh, yeah. it. It smells like that plastic, you know. Yep, yep. Smell like Kevin Costner. Smell like Kevin Costner. <laughs> yeah. Isn't he on that show? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. So that was fantastic. And then um, cool. who? What kind won the first? Like in a classic Italian. Classic one? Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, like I said, I I, I think there was fifteen entries and and. Uh, 12 out of the 15 were classic Italian are style. Are these just people? Are they com- businesses and restaurants? Or was no, it just people. Yeah. Just really? people. Anybody Indies. that wanted dinner. Yeah. And then, uh, and then um, there was a smoked meatball. Okay. Which was, it was, cool. it was pretty fucking good. Yeah. But uh, he didn't win anything, but he was in it. And I thought they were great. 
you know, man, the Velvet Underground never won any Grammys, but <laughs> yeah. they're still respected across the board. Absolutely. One of the most iconic bands ever. And then, Maybe uh, they did. I don't think so. The next day was my grandmother's 90th. Oh, with the cake. Yeah. With the Worthy's cake. All right. Yeah. yeah. We're actually following up on stuff. This yeah. Week. <laughs> I know. <laughs> forget like Look 10 at us. seconds later. <laughs> it's like we're actually doing a professional show here. Yeah. <laughs> Getting all the people. Because, you know, anybody that's listening is like, I wonder what happened with that cake. <laughs> <laughs> at least I would be. A lot happened. <laughs> okay. So, Grandma's birthday. Was it a surprise party? No, it was not. No. Um, you can't surprise people no. at a certain age, right? It was a shocker. Yeah. I or mean, she just wouldn't care. Well, she made it all the way to ninety. We don't want to give her a heart attack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, we or she made it all people. the way to ninety, and she's like, nothing surprises me. Yeah, I'm exactly. You should see what I've seen. Yeah, it was so funny when we did the cake. We put it, you know, we put a ninety on it and lit it. We get, we go, happy birthday to you, happy birth, and she blows it out and waves at everybody to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it. Got it. The song's yeah. good. I've heard 89 of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. We got it. Yeah. So, um, but a uh, really cool thing is um, I found, um, well, a, a buddy of mine has been collecting yearbooks, and he just happened to tell me on Friday night before sun, before the birthday on Sunday. Yearbooks from, like, here? Around yeah, around here, like all Luport over or? Niagara County. Yeah. But, yeah, Luport in particular. He found one uh, from 1948. Oh wow! And so my grandma was fourteen. Nice in it. <laughs> so I brought that fucking poodle skirt and shit. And it was so fucking funny. She's like naming off all the people in the front row. I'm like, that was seventy five years ago. Yeah, that is fucking cool. I can't do that. <laughs> no, I couldn't even do it now. <laughs> I can't. No, I mean I've introduced myself to people who are like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, I sat oh. next to you in math class. Yeah, yeah I'm fucking hi. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. So um, yeah, that was very cool. Then she's like, where am I? And I'm like, third row, Grandma, third row, number three. She goes, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I go, you know everybody in the class except you? <laughs> so that was a very typical answer from my grandmother, though. So That's cool. How'd she like the cake? Loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. It was a Wheel of Fortune. We didn't do the Wheel of Fortune. You didn't do the Wheel of Fortune. No, we ended up doing... Um, gold balls like it was it was two round cakes like you a big one got a theme lately. Yeah. <laughs> it was a ball i know <laughs> yeah it was a ball, big balls weekend <laughs> so there was a big cake big round cake on the bottom with a small round cake on the top almost like a wedding cake would yeah, be yeah like stacked yeah so the the with with the uh extra area around the bottom one there was gold like balls the all the way around the ridge yeah yeah like in ted 2 where then, the bear's dancing at the beginning and then so gold people. glitter over the whole top of it. That's cool. That's a pretty fucking fancy. Yeah. <coughs> yep. So, um, but it was the Werther's original with caramel. Uh, nice. And it was, everyone was like, where the fuck did you get this cake? <laughs> I've never had a cake like this. And I was like, I got a girl. And Emily made it. <laughs> Emily yeah. made it. So shout out to Emily uh, for making uh, making my grandma's day. And and other the other 39 members of my family <coughs> that were there. Well, 32 members of my family and then uh, five or six of her friends from the uh, old folks home. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, man. I was like, who are those people? Are they related to us? (laughs) I've never seen them before. That's her crew, dude. Yeah, I was like. She's like Puff Daddy. She comes in with a posse. Yeah, she did. So, and then I think she was racing me to the car when she was leaving because she was just done with it. Yeah. She's 90 years old and she's fucking going 20 miles an hour through the parking lot on her feet. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so I love that too because I was like, "Stop! Give me a hug, goodbye." <laughs> She's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, honey." <laughs> like, I'm like, "You don't have to be in so much of a hurry. It's Sunday. Will of Fortune's not on." <laughs> She's like, "Motherfucker, I'm, I'm, you know, we don't got all the time in the world here. She's yeah. got things to do." Yeah, yeah. She's only got probably ten years left. <laughs> Everyone, everyone was talking. They're like, we're like, look at her. She's gonna fucking make it ten more years. She's gonna make it to a hundred. This is incredible. Unless something weird happens. Yeah, things have certainly fucking changed. I mean, you see that shit all the time where they put up like Edith Bunker was like forty (laughs) two. Now you're like, really? (laughs) You're like, and like now, like I saw a thing of RFK Juniors like celebrated my seventieth birthday jumping out of a helicopter with the coast guard and like surfing <laughs> I'm like god damn dude who Pick rfk jr bobby Kennedy really? jr yeah 
He says, he's celebrating my 70th birthday. And then it looked like the fucking X Games. Yeah. It was fucking amazing. Wow. So that's different than what we used to be. Yeah. Sure in her is. yearbook, go look at the teachers in the 1948 yearbook. Yeah. They're going to look like old ladies. It's right there. Yeah. We should yeah, fucking pass that shit over. That green thing. Yeah. There's going to be teachers who look like old ladies and they're going to be 28. I know. <laughs> I know. It's wild. What green thing? The book. The book. This Isn't there two books right there? there? Yeah, that's it. Yep. There's one from 1953 as well. This one's 1953. Yeah. Lewis Stoney, and this is the 1948 one. Lewis Stoney, and it's so blue. They were the frontiersmen back there, not the Lancers. Really? Which I didn't know. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Isn't that wild? The band. Yeah, they had it all. They had everything that we still have. Here's the news staff. Yeah. Damn, dude. Isn't that cool? The hair, the hair is so funny. <laughs> so then, and then you know the Hogan family, like Colleen. Yeah, yeah. Her dad's in there. Really? And the the, the Hogan's the um, the Hogan's family. Uh, you know, I grew up. They're they're like brothers and sisters of mine, pretty much. We grew up together our entire lives. Their parents died when we were in fifth and sixth grade. So I found this book, and I called Colleen, and I'm like, you're not going to fucking believe this. I found a yearbook with your dad in it. And yeah. she's like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be like... The, and he's like 15 years old in it. Or th- no, 13 years old in it. This so. is the senior class song. If I could read music, I could sing it. <laughs> but it says, to thee, our dear alma mater, we sing our song today. Soon thy halls will be learning, each to wend his way. Each to seek life's adventures, <laughs> each to find his start. And so for thee, alma mater, we carry the banter far. The banner far. It's, it's written all fucking weird. Yeah. Go Frontiersman. Yeah. <laughs> each to find his star. Now known as Lancers. Yeah. Undergrads. Wow, this is pretty, it's very fascinating to look at you know, cultures. And it really like is. That. It really is. Oh, I, I went through it yeah, a couple times. And shit. Yeah, it's very, very fucking cool. Bill, those green kids. Yeah. Rubbish, shore leave. That's like all the... There's so many names in there, though, that are still prominent Youngstown and Lewiston names. Like, um, I, I just saw so many names that I recognize. You know, I'm like, that family still lives here. That family still lives here. That family still lives here, you know? Yeah, that's what when you go through the graveyard across the street um, uh, in Lewiston by the church... Yeah, all the it's like Scoville and Harper, like all the street names are names on the headstones. Yeah, and shit. oh, I bet. Yeah, yeah, that Here, makes sense. Let me pull up. We uh ended up at the fort uh we last week, a couple weeks ago or something. Yep, it was a nice day, so we went out to the lake and then went in there and saw Silva and Eddie. Yeah, hanging yeah. Out. oh yeah, for sure. Chatted with them guys for a little bit and then right. went into the museum. And under there, they have the Christmas uh, the menu for the Christmas dinner <laughs> in like the forties, probably around the same time because it's when it was like World War Two and guys were oh, stationed yeah. there. Yeah. So I wanted to look at the menu for this. All right. So we got oyster stew and crackers, roast turkey with mushroom dressing, giblet gravy, cold sugar cured ham, cranberry sauce, snowflake potatoes, candied sweet potatoes, French peas, buttered asparagus tips. Hearts of celery, shrimp salad, sweet pickles, hot rolls, butter, bread, pumpkin pie, fruit cake, layer cake, mince pie, assorted fruits, candy, mixed nuts, cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> last, all of that, the last thing is cigarettes. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the fucking spread. That is quite the spread. Cold sugar game. Give it finish break. it off with a nice Marlboro. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's probably a lucky strike then, actually. Probably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds pretty good, man. Yeah. Yeah. I would have went to that dinner. Especially if they're giving out smokes with the price they are today. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, they were like a nickel a pack. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's good. We had a good meatball. Yeah. Good, good meatball cook-off. Great weekend. Super successful. Um, I've never seen so many smiling faces. I haven't, and I saw a lot of faces that I haven't seen in years. Yeah. Which was really cool, I think. Well, um, I don't think we've done a podcast since we did the last Foes gig, did we? Um, two weeks ago. Did, I don't think did we? Yeah. I, did we, really? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thanks everyone again for coming out to that. <laughs> that was another like I feel like it was a like a real old school drug night. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it was I fun. I haven't done one of those in a while. The no, old it was cool. cool. Like I open the back door and the first thing I hear is when you blow it high dough. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> back at the jug. The same. You look down the bar and you're like, these guys motherfuckers have assigned seats. Yeah. <laughs> like they're all in the same spots. <laughs> it warms my heart. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was a great night too. We mm-hmm. uh, we've had some some good ones, 
and uh, um, I work tomorrow night, and then I'm off to Florida first thing yeah, Friday you're going morning. Off to Florida. So, uh, what's your plan for for that? What do you got heading up down there? Uh, we've got a few different things. Uh, Sammy, everybody knows Sammy, slinging Sammy. Yeah. Uh, he was with, with you when you were smacking the bat with the broom into the box. Oh yeah, he sure yeah. was. And uh, oh my God, it's a bat! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, he uh, he hooked us up with. We've got four tickets, club level, uh, for the Sabers Panthers game oh, on nice. Tuesday night. Um. Crown hot dog is gonna fucking take us out fishing a couple times. Yeah, you said you want to try to catch a shark. I do want to catch a shark. I want to. I want to. I want to eat. I've, I've eaten shark before, but I'd like to eat one that I caught. That you caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'd like to fucking. I'd, I'd like to eat anything that could eat me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Take that how you will. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, and there is a thing of that to conquer the fucking beast. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, I mean, you could fucking shoot a turkey. What's a turkey gonna do to you? Nothing. No, but, you know, but they're delicious. You want to take a shark out? Yeah, a little shark fin soup or something. So we probably will. Um, we'll. It'll be a catch and release. In all honesty, yeah. but but um, I know groupers in season. I know triple tails in one, season. Bring it up here and have it breed and make a new fish in the lake. That'll be fun. Oh yeah, that'd yeah, be super fun. Just cross pollinate. People would love me. There's <laughs> <laughs> now a shark population overrunning everything down yeah. here. <laughs> Sharks just flying up and down the river. <laughs> <laughs> the jet boat um, motherfuckers come back with <laughs> this guy missing a leg. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm excited, like, because triple tail's in season, which is, like, one of my favorite fish. Yeah. It's delicious. It's a triple tail. It's got three is. tails. Uh, yeah, I could like, <laughs> put that together. Yeah. So it's just got one normal, like, big one, and then it's got two little ones right next to it that... Make it pretty fast. Yeah, is yeah. That, I don't feel like I've never had this. Is it like a white fish? Like I got a, a picture heavy? of one right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course I do. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where's hot dog? He just caught one the other day. He's like, "This is what we're going to be catching when you get here." And there it is. Got a nice picture of hot dog with a cocktail weenie and a triple tail. Oh yeah, okay. I get what you're saying. It's got two little kind of fins. Support it's like its tail. It's like it's the tail's Beyonce, and then the other two tails are the other two. Yeah, <laughs> from Destiny's Child. Yes, um, exactly. That's pretty cool. That looks like a big, fat, delicious fish. It sure is. So you put a little Italian breading on it, throw it in some freaking olive oil on the pan. In the pan. There you go. Three minutes later, you're eating. Yeah, that's cool. I don't think I. Well, I've never really gone. I mean, I've fished like we went camping, and and my we were with my bar buddy Jimmy, who was fucking brought his fishing fucking reels and all this shit yeah so i was you know fishing with him i don't think i really caught anything of significance no nope. nothing that we could eat <laughs> like a branch or something uh, yeah a Got tire an old yeah, tire exactly you could <laughs> eat it if you wanted to you could you can make some soup in there but yeah it's <laughs> something of catching a beast from the fucking ocean and then cooking it and grilling it is a feeling uh, yeah. of accomplishment absolutely yeah i'd imagine mm -hmm. so so that's pretty cool i'm uh i'm pretty excited We've got one day of golf lined up. I haven't golfed in a while, so that'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. And um, he's got two uh, two electric bikes waiting for me and J-Rock, so we're going to cruise yeah. around town on those, fly up and down uh, Fort Myers Beach on them. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They've had, uh, they had the little scooter things in Rome. Yeah, they don't and have they those down there. Yeah. They, uh, I talked to Hot Dog, and Hot Dog said they all washed into the ocean in the last hurricane. Yeah. So is that because I know that people there's a whole South Park about it. They're quite annoying. If you're not on one, it's annoying. But if you're on one, it's probably great. Yeah. So take the trade as you will. Well, yeah. J Rock said it's one of the most fun things he's ever done. He's like, dude, cheers of joy come out of my eyes every time I ride one. He's on a scooter. <laughs> on a scooter, he loves yeah. it. Yeah. I told a hot dog, and he's like, fag. <laughs> 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 he goes, tell him to get a fucking Harley like a real man. <laughs> so um. But um, unfortunately, hot dogs hardly washed away. In the, really? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, it got fucked up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rough. So um, yeah. So he's gonna be. I'm sure he'll be looking for another one. Yeah. But he had a beautiful Harley, and I, I felt bad. Like I was like, dude, that's one thing that he is definitely so like. Put it on the roof or something. Get it to high land. Um, you put know, little floaties around it. Well, I mean, I don't know if you remember, but they were all in the living room when the fucking wave came attacking the house. Oh, no, I don't remember. This. They were making dinner. Really. Yeah, I may never have told this story. I, th I feel like I had to have, but 
um, he was making dinner, and he uh, he said he looked out the back window. He had his parents over, his wife and kid, and uh, that might have been it. I'm not positive, but he was like, everybody out to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> and this just, like, two-foot wave smashed into the back of the house. No warning? They were. They thought it was going to be slightly higher because, you know, like, they were like, we should be safe like because yeah. they were right on the edge, and uh, they didn't make it. Yeah. So um, he had two feet of water in his house for Damn. for a week. Dude, that sucks. Yeah. Water can go fuck itself. Uh, they, don't have, they don't have a basement, so it everything. has nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, water in a house. I was telling the friends of ours they bought a house uh, recently, and I was like, welcome to the fucking club, man. Yeah. I was like, now all of your fears are biblical. Yeah. I was like, what do you mean? I'm like, fire, flood. Uh, bu- infestation, bugs, locusts, <laughs> like all like the 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 stories from the Bible are now what I worry about all the time. Yeah, is I don't want it fire the two ends of the spectrum of of fire and then water. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I want to be right in the middle of there. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, for sure. So um, yeah, uh, so we got nothing coming up like real soon because I'm going to be gone and then yeah. um, have you thought you haven't thought past that. Jeez. No, no, I've decided not to on purpose. And uh, you have everything in, in line for when you're gone, so the whole place doesn't go nuts. Yeah, I got a couple things that I got to wrap up tomorrow, and then uh, and then work tomorrow night from six to close, and then I'm fucking out of here. And I'm not going to think about I'm not going to think about work for <laughs> ten days. Well, that's not true. I'll still have to do payroll and ordering from down there, but yeah, I've already got that all set up too with. With our payroll, they know to call me at three o'clock on Wednesday, <laughs> and then and, and uh, all the um, liquor and beer salesmen um, are know to come to the jug and give me a short inventory, you know, of what we what we went through. Like I showed them all how to do it this week. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, this is what you do. Call me, say you did this, 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 and this, and then I'll tell you what I want. And uh, so it's pre- it's going to be pretty cut and dry. That's cool, yeah. <laughs> you know, you work remote. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but that should only take me, you know, three hours total, maybe, maybe not even. Hopefully, not even. You get a hit up. Uh, where's Buffalo Chips? Buffalo Chips is on uh, on um, uh, forty one right uh, um, in Benita Springs. So yeah. it's. Four miles from Hot Dog's house. That's, yeah, we're yeah. definitely going. Yeah, yeah. Because I've been going through putting all the old episodes on YouTube, and that was one of them. Yeah, it's Buffalo Chips. Yeah, and after the Sabers game, we already have um, we have a table at Vixens. It's Vixens. Oh yeah. Is that that's not a restaurant, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most famous uh, famous um, Teddy show in uh, in Lauderdale. Really? Yeah. So yeah, we already called and set that up. We got that appointment all set. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, like I said, this is gonna be a different trip than your last one. Yeah, where you're like with all the kids and everything. Right. No, it was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. This one's gonna have some different stories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one is adults only. Vixens. Yeah. Are they gonna be vixens? I. You know. Uh, Hopefully. R.I.P. to our old buddy Rip. Um, the last time I was at Vixens was with him. Yeah. And uh, I found the hat when I was cleaning out some st- shit. It made me miss him because yeah. he, he, he passed away a couple of years ago. But um, I picked him up uh, uh, when I was when I was living down there still. I picked him up this one day, and we hit every strip club. <laughs> it, um, it was it was a three hour drive back from my boy's place to his place. And we hit, and he was like, "I want to hit every strip club between there and there." And I was like, "Dude, do you know how many strip clubs that is?" Like, you know, people go like, 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 "I was uh, like, it's like a dozen." Go and on, he's like, like a road perfect. trip where they're like, "I want to see all the monuments. I want to see yeah. every capital, yeah. <laughs> like that. You know, every titty bar." He wanted to see every tit yeah, in Florida, <laughs> <laughs> and I think we might have because we hit like twelve strip clubs in twelve hours. Like we were like one drink and and maybe two in every single one from five p.m. to five a.m. I wonder if. Yeah, I yeah, see the enthusiasm wane throughout the day. By the time you get to, like, the 10th one, are you just like, all right, honey, you can put them away. <laughs> well, we're a little more drunk, so we're a little bit more yeah. enthusiastic. Yes, yeah, so you yeah. Let's see the titties! <laughs> I mean, you never don't want to see titties. No, exactly. But I feel like you get, you know, eventually, how many times can you hear cherry pie in one day? True. <laughs> True. Um, 
Yeah, I, but I'm excited because I haven't, uh, I haven't been to a good club in a while. And I know this guy deserves it. <laughs> yeah, man, unwind a little bit. Mm-hmm. We've talked to uh, we've talked to a friend of ours who does like burlesque dancing. She has like a whole crew. Oh, nice! Of, like burlesque dancer people. We should and do a photo show with burlesque. That was the idea. <laughs> we were talking to her about like doing that was some sort idea. of gig and having, uh, you know, that'd be uh, cool as shit. The burlesque. We've seen a few shows they've done and they're great. Yeah. Yeah. Real classy situation. Exactly. And they got. She's got all the details and everything figured out. Really? And we're like, we know who'd be interested in this. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I, don't know, I yeah. think I got a guy. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Might have to do it inside. I don't know what the protocol is with a thing like that. They don't do titties out or nothing, but it's... Mm, I don't know. Maybe we'll just get a giant, you know, something to cover the front. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Sure. Or maybe we'll do it inside. Yeah. But, uh... That sounds great. <laughs> I'm in. It's too cold. Yeah, I know. We're not going to do it now. We want to do it when it's too cold. No. Yeah. Not, yeah, do it in the summertime. Do a 4th of July party. Celebrate our freedom. Now, if there was titties, we'd do it when it was real cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, I don't know. We, uh, um, we'll be releasing the, you know, when I get back. I'll really like start hammering out the schedule. Um, it's kind of putting it off, waiting on some bigger bands, which I have semi locked down a few. Um, I mean, we know that that uh, Michael Glebecki is definitely August sixteenth, um, but uh, and we know like Nerds Gone Wild is June first. Um, but the rest of them, the dude, a lot of them, the dates are still kind of loose, and I'm trying to hammer them out before I go home. Yeah. So I'm going to make a bunch of calls again tomorrow. And then I'm going to be like, don't fucking call me for 10 days. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, um, we're toying around with the idea of a Cinco de Mayo show with you, right? Yeah. Okay. So I know I didn't get back to you, but we had discussed it. Yeah. So. What's the date of that one again? <laughs> <laughs> for yeah. those of you who don't know. <laughs> for those of you who don't speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and that would be the season opener. Yeah. Well, so. it's, yeah, hopefully it's fucking warm. I mean, judging by the way the weather's been lately, I think it's going to be about 85 because <laughs> it's February right now and it's like a nice fucking spring night. So <laughs> It was 50. Because I know we've done like, we did the one on the 4th because we did a May the 4th be with you thing and it was yep. fucking freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so hopefully it'll we be We did nice. one on the 7th. I know that. Yeah. Last year we backed it up by like two weeks. Yeah. Like or and it's forward, we've always had technically us. we've done it. You guys, have done, yeah. Damn, dude. That's why. Know, that's why it? I was like, mm, not real comfortable with asking anyone else. All right, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, really? Yeah, that's this, what she this said. Will be She's the like, you guys year. always do it. I'm like, do we do? <laughs> yeah, I think I think this will be the fifth year in a row that you All guys right. open open the jug. Right on. Well, I know we open like the thing outside. That's what I mean. And that, yeah, no, no. I'm saying like the first one ever when you guys built. Oh the yeah, thing yeah, outside. yeah, yeah. And that was pretty. Well, now you have. Well, I mean, we always had heaters, but now like you guys, if it is cold. We can close it up. Yeah, we can. Get we the can. Heaters cranking. We can close about three quarters of it, and, yeah. and we've got that new giant heater. Yeah, that's just like pumps it. I mean, speaking of fucking Home Depot, back to a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. they have a heater by the self checkout that is like fucking intense. It's yeah, super warm. It might be kind of the same one you guys have. It's yeah. fucking nuts. And then it's right next to the speaker that's very intense, too, mm. blasting the music, as we discussed. Right. So right. everything they got up in the ceiling there is just on high. They're <laughs> <laughs> just like, make them deaf and fucking heat them up. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be cool. Even if it's a bit fucking nippy, we'll, we'll close that bitch up and fucking heat her. So Wilson um, School approached me last week. I thought you meant Wilson like the guy. No, not that guy. <laughs> um, and they want to do an outdoor show the f- saturday after st patrick's day oh, like their school band or something uh it's like yeah their school chorus and band and it's a fundraiser and they can, we should learn this fucking alma mater song from the yearbook well that's lewiston they're wilson fucking i don't i don't know how to read that shit they're a marching band they can do it <laughs> <laughs> have them learn it and uh, then i'll listen to it and i can learn it from but them. they want to do it out there and i was like i was like you understand it's gonna probably be pretty fucking cold right yeah. and um she's like i don't care if they're kids <laughs> <laughs> 
they'll pull through. <laughs> <laughs> They're resilient. <laughs> uh, that wasn't exactly what she said, but it was it was along those lines. <laughs> yeah, I guess, man. Um, but you know, she's like, "Well, you guys have the tarps and the heaters, and you know, or the the wall, the tarped walls, yeah, and, yeah. and the heaters and stuff, you know." And um, I was like, "Yeah, we do," and we got you know, so like, I mean, we can make it pretty nice in there. And um, they want to do like a bake sale and. Um, they'll get all the food from us, but then they'll bring like cakes and pies and yeah. muffins. And, <laughs> yeah, and, of course you're like I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, yeah, sorry, well, I gotta you guys are already sold me. Meatballs down. Yeah, <laughs> this is quite the racket you got over here. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> He's like, what am I feeling? I'm feeling like tacos tonight. Why don't we do a taco cook off? <laughs> yeah. And then everyone brings you tacos. It's <laughs> fucking brilliant. I just <laughs> realized what you're doing. Ah, uh, you finally <laughs> figured me out. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, give me a fucking t-shirt. Or something. I knew this couldn't go forever. <laughs> <laughs> just having a reason, everyone bringing you just smorgasbords every night yeah. under the guise of a contest. <laughs> this week's meatball cook off. Next week is pastry cook off. Mm-hmm. Then we go to tacos. Yeah. Tomorrow morning we're gonna have a coffee cook off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. So that should be. Uh, well, she's gonna email me all the information. She told me she's like, I know you're going on vacation. Don't worry about it. Get nice. back to me as soon as you get back. I was like, okay. I'm like, that's only gonna leave you a couple of weeks. And she's like. I got it. I'm like, okay. Sure. What do you guys got going for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, St. Patrick's Day is going to be, you know, we we have the bagpipers as always. Um, we'll have the inside and the outside bar open. I already ordered the cold plate and stuff, so we'll have ice cold fucking Guinness and Smittix out at the outdoor bar. Um, they doing the parade again? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We should do another roof. Are we around the roof? Yeah, that Around's was great. The parade, yeah. Yeah, when we were when we claimed that we were the only place in America that was still still doing the parade, yeah, doing that was, anything because yeah. we we were that was the first during COVID. That was like the first weekend of COVID. It was the first week of COVID. Yeah, they shut every fucking St. Patrick's Day down. Except we for should us. do that. Yeah. We should. Let's do another rooftop one. That was great. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we are what video. Video, yeah. I yeah. Put the cam- it's on YouTube still. I put the camera like on the corner. Yeah. So you could watch the little parade with our. We were like, you know, the Thanksgiving parade where they have like Kathy Lee and Hoda just getting shit faced in a yeah. booth somewhere and commenting right. on it. It was like us. Yeah. So I'll stand up there with the Smedics <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talk about uh, talk about all the people in the parade. Uh, the bagpipers, uh, they're great. They come, they play for hours, and all they want is like, I don't know, I think there's five of them, so their cost is five pitchers of Smittix or something, <laughs> yeah. which is right in my I price think that's range. industry standard for bagpipers. <laughs> <laughs> it's right in my wheelhouse. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You, you feel it revving up a bit. Yeah. I've been a bit stir crazy. I feel like uh-huh. I've been busy, but I'm like, nothing real fun's happening. No. You know? I know. We went out today. We went and went and looked at a lumber place. And then we went out to like where the, the park in Buffalo, like the Outer Harbor Park. Yeah. With like the bike trail and everything. And they're sure. building like that huge fucking whatever it is. I don't know. They got like big band shells and big structures. Yeah, where I don't they know what look. they're doing either. I don't know, man. I'll show you the pictures. It's quite trippy because it's like old factories that they're building like newer, fancier yeah, shit around. And it seems I like know. it's a big open air market thing in the summertime. You know, I saw some of it when we were going to Bills games. Yeah, so uh, I know what you're talking about, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, it's like <laughs> cool little BMX trailer. Saw a kid on his bike doing jumps and shit. That was pretty tight. Nice. And nice. Then it, oh my god, it, it reeked of Cheerios coming over the skyway. Oh, you're like, yeah. God, it smells so fucking good. It smells so good. Yeah, I love when they make the cereal. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the whole goddamn city smells like cereal. It's fucking <laughs> great. <laughs> Um. Oh, hey, I have a new song out. There's that. Oh, nice. I put a song called Praise Beyond Belief. It's on Spotify. There's a lyric video on YouTube and everything. I'll put it the com. I'll put it in the comments. Okay. Or in the fucking description of this uh, this episode. Okay. And I'll put a little clip of the song on there. I don't know how there much I can play because SoundCloud's pretty good at that stuff. Yeah. So I keep getting copyright strikes on myself. Oh. Yeah. It's like <laughs> this is owned by Thermopolis Media. I'm like, yeah, I know. And that's <laughs> me. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so then you got to do the whole I do on this thing. You know, oh. Put in the barcode and it. it's a fucking hole to do. All right. But whatever. It's a fucking ripper, dude. It's a good fucking tune. Awesome. Big guitars, fucking. 
It's nasty. But I'm going to start putting out like tracks like once a month ish. Cool. Because you do these albums and it's great and everything, but it's like people don't have a goddamn attention span anymore. No, they really they don't. They really don't. It's like, crazy. I was talking to this, uh, we did a gig at the Daredevil Records and there was like rappers and MCs and stuff there. And I was yeah. talking to the guy, rappers, and they'll do albums with 20 songs on it because yeah. they make beats and spit the verses and they can just churn them out. Yeah. And uh, he's like, dude, I'm doing like quick EPs now. Just like putting out more quick EPs because like, people don't fucking. You got a song that's buried on the album. Nobody's ever heard it. It's 10 songs in. And yeah. You don't have, you know. You're fucked. Yeah. I mean, that's where you get each individual song placed on different playlists all over the fucking world and stuff. Uh-huh. Here we got the Frizzle Freds on a reggae playlist and this other one's on a punk rock playlist. All right. But, you know, doing one song at a time, I think we'll be able to focus more sure. stuff. Sure. It's But that's a bit, you know. I got so many. I got what the, it's going to take fucking forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one, you know. But whatever. There's a new one called Praise Beyond Belief. And then in a couple of weeks, I'll put out another one. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. And Everybody then, uh, check that out. Oh, God. What is it? Um, March 29th, I think we're doing a Nietzsche's gig with uh, the Loaded and Gorgeous Boys, the Roy G. Nice. Biv, and me and Pete are going to do a faux set in the front of Nietzsche's okay. in between the two sets. Oh, cool. So. As they're like switching over the bands in the back, me and Pete will go run up to the front and drop some beats and do whatever the fuck. Uh huh. So that'll be a, that'll be a good night. Cool. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's getting the you know getting back up and running. Yeah. I've been going through all the old videos and all the old stuff, trying to organize it. And there's like videos of like us at the back of the jug. And there's like just it's, she does like a film in a circle, like spins yeah, around. Sure, and it's sure. just, dude, it's wall to wall people. Yeah. And like I'm up there rapping. I'm like, damn, dude, I can't, I don't even recognize that motherfucker. Yeah. I'm like I feel like it's been so long since we've done something like that. Yeah. I can't do that. That's nuts. You, you put me that. in charge of that. That's nuts. You put you get all those people in there, and you're like, yeah, you go up there. That's yeah. crazy. You're nuts. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> I say so many inappropriate things. <laughs> I have faith in you, <laughs> obviously. <Yeah. laughs> Mass consumption. Me and Peter singing dirty songs and giggling. Yeah. A couple of fucking four-year-olds. Uh-huh. <laughs> Fuck those bitches. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fucking... The first time that I heard that, I was like, well, I was like, was that me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking slinging off. drinks all over the place, and I'm like... And then I heard it again, and I was like... That's fucking me. What the hell are they doing? <laughs> we sampled Captain from the show. Yeah. Put it in the little box, so every time you hit a button, it's, fuck those bitches. <laughs> Great. That was fucking awesome. I didn't, I had no idea that it was even, I don't think I had any idea it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was fucking great. But um, we'll have a bunch of bangers this year. Oh, God, yeah. Um, momentum. It's been building momentum. It is. Yes. And you've you've done a hell of a job of getting making it like legitimate, you know what I mean? Yeah. Getting I'm, actual acts. Not I know. Goddamn amateurs like me and Pete. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, you you guys aren't even amateurs anymore. <laughs> we, yeah. we have we have some amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> um but we're um yeah, we're moving along nicely, I think, and um putting this place on the map. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. And uh so what's this um this YouTube thing that you're doing now with with, uh, with the show? I'm just taking all the old episodes and putting putting every episode of the podcast on the YouTube as long, you know, like, ju- it's just audio for most of them. Some sure. of them we did do videos. Yeah. Especially during COVID when we were doing live streams and stuff. Yes. And most podcast, I know all podcasts now are on video, but they're all a bunch of comedians and actors and wannabe famous guys. Yeah. And I find that when we put, a, I'm fine, but like when we get guests in who are guys who, like we've talked about, the microphone yes. terrifies me. You can't put them on a fucking No, they're camera. very scared. They'll shut the fuck down. They will you shut down. Yeah, you can't do that. That's nuts. <laughs> We'd have to get them juiced first. Yeah. Then, then who knows what they're going to be worth. <laughs> <laughs> We're shutting it down. We're like, fucking cut the feed. Cut the feed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is this live? We're fucked. <laughs> this town was something until the you-know-what's moved in. We're like, cut it. <laughs> <I> cut it. <laughs> um, but I'm just putting all the old episodes on the YouTube as well. Yeah. Um, so it's on everything. I mean, audio's always been on Spotify and yep. all that stuff. Yep. And then I'm going to start... Uh, like an Instagram or something. Maybe we'll get it with some teenager to start us a TikTok. Because we got all these clips. Dude, we've been doing this fucking show for a long time. We've been doing the show a long so time. so much. Yeah. And I did like little clips for every episode, too. So there's just hundreds of them. Right. And we'll start some Instagram page where we put those up all the time. And hopefully, we've, we've built enough of a, a foundation here that we can expand to the outside of people who know us. I right. guess. I hope so. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I would think so. I mean, God. 
Hopefully people are spreading yeah. the word. Well, that's and the thing about, yeah, we've said podcasts is, is motherfuckers won't listen for years. They'll know it exists. Yeah. And then one day they're like, hey, I finally checked it out. Yeah. And then I listened to 300 episodes in a week and uh, when's the next one? We're yeah. like, damn, dude. And they just go on a binge. So I we just have to make it very available, which is yeah. what I'm working on. <laughs> right. Going through all the old stuff and making it very available. Um, a buddy of mine, Joe's wife, they're, they're a little old. They're about 10 years older than me. And um, uh, she goes... So I found your podcast, and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, that's great. I'm like, so she goes, I fucking love it, oh, <laughs> and I'm like, really? She's like, yeah. She's like, I listen to it to and from work every day. Nice. She's like, it's a half an hour drive, so I get one episode in every single day. And I was like, oh my god, it's fucking perfect. And um, she's like, she's like, I started right at one, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and yeah. I was like, oh, that's really cool. I'm like, so you can kind of hear us get a little bit better. Yeah, you we know, try like, the first one is we were trying to do it live, and it was real echoey in the back yeah. room. And we're not used to like, all right, it's hard. You know, you got to get a get a flow going or something. Yes. get like yeah. a momentum underneath. You figure out what the absolutely. Hell we're doing. Which we have, we, I feel like we have a pretty good momentum now. Like, yeah. I mean, we sit down and sometimes I'm like, what do you mean that was an hour? That seemed like 12 minutes, you know? Yeah. Like, So, I mean, I feel like that's a sure sign of that we have um, like a better handle on it than we used to. And I, I'm a big radio podcast guy, obviously. Right. And I found that what I do is I end up going in like rotations amongst guys. Like, mm -hmm. I'll get real, you know, I'll listen to a ton of this one show mm -hmm. and I'll just listen to it until I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll listen to right. it until I'm like, I can't take these motherfuckers anymore. Sure. I think I'm done with these guys. Yeah. And then I'll move on to another show until I hate it. And then you do the rotation. And then like a few months later, you're like, let me go check what those guys have been up to. Yeah. And the whole time they've still been putting out episodes. Of course. Knowing that you're going to come back around. Yeah. When you get sick of the other guys. Exactly. So that's what we'll keep doing. Yeah. Eventually, um, hopefully, we'll be in that rotation for everybody. Yeah, <laughs> uh, or at least, at least for a lot of people. Um, yeah, that's cool, man. That's we well, I want to fucking cheer you up on your way to work. Life's goddamn boring and annoying enough. We it is. Fucking, hopefully, some guys, you know, building a deck or something and he's miserable, <laughs> but we can make him fucking giggle. While he's yes, doing it. exactly. Uh, and then my number one fan. Who's your number one fan? <laughs> Shout out, Zach. <laughs> Zach. Yeah. You know Zach. Oh yeah, um, Hart Hartwig, Hartwig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he um, he's like, dude. So I'm catching back up on the podcast the yeah. other night when See he was what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. rotations. Yeah, you, they don't listen for he's a while. Like, I didn't listen for a little while. He's like, I felt like I was in here enough that I was getting enough stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, just, I just start laughing. I'm like, I gotta hang out with you all night and then go uh, home and listen to you with like, enough of this fucking guy yeah, already. Oh, I, I was like, I was like, I can't believe you even listened to as much as you've been here. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's I, I've, I've uh, thought that as well with like social media things. Like there is such a thing as overexposure. Like you want to be present and you want to put your stuff out there yeah but if people just see you all day on their phone and then you're like hey come out to they're gonna be like no <laughs> yeah <laughs> sick i of know this guy you I gotta know. have almost just enough yep you know so we should probably have zach on the show yeah we should we haven't no i don't we think have. so yeah we should he's a super funny guy he is he's, he's really funny he gets it he gets it he does so yeah. um so zach and when it, you're listening to this one when i get back from florida because you won't hear it until after i'm back um Remind me. Yeah. And, uh, well, and we'll, this is uh, how we book guests. Yeah, and we'll, we'll have you on the show, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking show up, man. I don't know. Um, and his sister makes... Um, twin sister, right? Twin sister, yeah. yeah. Makes the leather bags and belts and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And we have one of her bags. Lee's, I bought Lee one of her... We were doing the uh, some fucking Elmwood Festival up in Buffalo. Uh -huh. And we did a really great foes gig like under this dance tent. It was uh -huh. fucking awesome. And then I went and we found her tent and I bought Lee a bag. And I will say that bag, we had it in fucking Rome. Yeah. That little motherfucker is awesome. Yeah. Dude, there's times because we had like our coats and scarves and all of our shit. We sure. were buying stuff. Dude, that, you could, that's like... If for any nerds out there, any, there's a Harry Potter, how Hermione had her bag with like a spell where she could just keep putting shit in yeah, it forever. Yeah. Right. It's like that. And no it shit. was tough as shit. There was times where we were zipping it up and I'm like, this thing's going to rip. Right. And it never did, dude. It was and it never did. Ass. What? We took it to the hardware store and what did we put inside it? A fucking paint can. A can of paint. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, a gallon of paint, yeah. <laughs> Fit snugged right in there. Oh, like shout out to yeah. Zach's sister, too, then, for, yeah. for what making some really good bags. I don't uh, want to say bags. the name of it wrong. Wakanaka? Wakanda? 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 It's not. Something like that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Zach, you, you let us know. Yeah, and, you uh, let us know. It's, it's got a cool name. 
Yeah. But, uh, dude, that thing was badass. Like, because, you know, we're walking around and there's times during the day where it's fucking in the 60s. And it's like, yeah. oh, so we're taking our layers off and shoving it in there and we're buying presents for everybody. We bought, like, a little coffee maker. Yeah. And all of that just got shoved into this bag. It was fucking top notch. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, that's great, man. Now, um, maybe we'll have both of them on the show. Yeah. Well, also, let's have the whole damn family, because I feel like I was on Instagram, and I saw, like, their mom was, like, doing yoga with Bob Weir. Yeah, she yeah. was. Okay. Yeah. Do you know the story on that? Uh, I do know the story on that. Um, they're at some, or they entered some contest, and it was uh, backstage passes to Dead & Company uh, as Bob Weir's special guest. And then it was like breakfast and a workout or something like that with him yeah. too, like the next day. He's, you know, like Bobby Kennedy Jr. and stuff. Like Bob Weir is also in incredible shape, throwing yeah. medicine balls around and shit. Yeah. He's like a hundred years old. Yeah. So um, it got put on pause for like two years because of COVID. Oh yeah, yeah. And she was like, Chris, she was trying to get some some jug merch from me. She's like, I'll wear this. Yeah. You know, with with Bobby. You know. And it never ended up coming to fruition. That part of it, for whatever reason, I don't remember. But, um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, his mom is like the luckiest person on earth. Like, she won like ninety grand at Rite Aid like a few months ago. What? Yeah, I'm like a scratch off or something. Like she just wins all like, and her husband, you know her husband. She yeah. works with Rand. He works with Randy yeah, Luke yeah, yeah. at UPS. They are the fo- official poster printers of the jug. They <laughs> sure are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are. So um, they're very cool people. Super cool. And uh, yeah, we <laughs> we probably should have the whole fucking family on. Well, fuck, we should be hitting the casino with them. Apparently, God yeah, damn, uh, yeah, I know. That's what we should really do. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the casino. Yeah. <laughs> we tricked you guys into being on the show. We're not really doing that. Yeah. We're doing this new bit on the show where you bet on college basketball for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, so she did, but she like has is on this and uh, like she won like a ticket to Hawaii like before that, like all this crazy shit. Like Is it because people do like these contests and they're like enter for your chance to win everyone else is like bullshit yeah that's some data mining horseshit and yeah. she actually does it and she wins yeah <laughs> she, she might be the only one who does it well, that's and if you wins. follow through on those things they can benefit like that's how we travel it, it, a lot is like you get the air mi- the miles and the points and you get your thing yeah and yeah lee is very dedicated to those things you got to be organized you got to yeah. actually get on the phone with the company yeah and anytime I, it gets too i, I gotta call the guy i'm like well fuck it we just won't go then You're right right <laughs> but she'll she's yeah, like i got this if you stick with those things it does benefit <laughs> next thing you know you're in hawaii with bob weir right next thing you know <laughs> i don't think that's where they were that time but <laughs> but yeah i get to, yeah, yeah i go you picking up what you're putting down here yeah, get the gist <laughs> that's pretty cool man i know so um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff in Youngstown. <laughs> what else we got? I don't know. Request. What? Why don't you guys each read each other a trivia question? Oh, all right. I saw this last time. There's an adult trivia box of game cards for adults only. Yeah. On oh, here. Yeah. Color-coded for use with the most popular trivia game boards. All right, whatever. Yeah. So, adult trivia. Where did this come from? It uh, looks pretty old. I know. I, I found it in one of the cabinets over here. Copyright I, I, 1984. Yeah. So, I don't even know if that was mine or if it was left here in one of those cabinets. Really? But I found it in there and I was oh, like... this is going to be like the ring. This is like a haunted trivia game. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> okay. So, uh, suggested for those 17 and over. So, all you kids, fucking earmuffs. Earmuffs. All right. I'm just going to pull the first one out of the box. There's a lot of information on this. Let me figure this there out. There sure again. is. Okay. When do you call your wife Crisco? <laughs> I don't know. That seems like a dangerous question. When she is fat in the can. <laughs> Are these jokes? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Are these jokes? <laughs> uh, I don't really. I guess we should have fucking instructions on this goddamn thing. <laughs> these seem jokes. On a date, what does getting to first base mean? That just making out with somebody? Yeah, kissing. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! One for yeah. the hard guy. Well, that's for adults. <laughs> I thought this was for adults. <laughs> what was the disease called the pox that swept Europe from 1492 to 1497? <laughs> the fuck? Who cares? I know. <laughs> Syphilis. 
Yeah, all right, I guess. It's that, sort of dirty. Seffel is still around? <laughs> yeah. In what film does Dustin Hoffman say to Anne Bancroft, do you think we could just say a few words to each other for the first, for, at first this time? Yeah, uh-huh. it's a classic. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, the Godfather, or not the Godfather, the, the graduate, Godfather. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Corleone, he's the graduate, the graduate. Yeah, that's the graduate. Graduate. what I meant. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I was like the Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what unrespectful comedian, unrespectful in quotes, comedian said, I meet a woman my own age who can get sexy with her? <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Dude, I just heard Rodney Dangerfield joke today. So, <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield is on, like, um, not on Letterman, but uh, Johnny Carson. Mm-hmm. And uh, Carson's like, all right, let me hear something. And um, he goes, all right, so this... Uh, this like uh, young girl, eighteen year old girl, seventeen year old girl, whatever, um, says she she's Mr. Period for two months. This is on the Tonight Show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus, I know. And uh, <clears throat> he goes, he goes. Um, so the father is like, you get you get me the filthy pig who did this to you over here now. So she makes a phone call. And uh, half an hour later, this Lamborghini pulls into the driveway. This guy in like a perfect suit, perfect haircut, you know, gold watch, every the whole nine comes up to the door and uh, says to the parents, uh, "It was me. I'm really sorry about this. If she yields a, a daughter, I will be- bequeath her one million dollars, two factories, blah 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 blah, whatever." If it's son, if it's a son, he will get uh, stocks in this along with two million dollars, and if it's twins, they will get one million dollars each, one factory each, and whatever. He goes now in the in the case of a miscarriage or something like that. I don't really know what to do in this situation. So, um, as as the family that I'm speaking to, I'd like you to think, um, what, what would you uh, suggest that I do? And the father leans over and puts his hand on his knee and he goes, "Try again." <laughs> 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 That's on primetime television. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just heard that today. I was I was like, oh yeah, I meant to say this. <laughs> Rodney then oh. then Rodney Dangerfield just happens to come up and remind me. <laughs> Maybe you do an adult trivia the jug. <clears throat> Don't they do like bingo and they do trivia nights and things like that? Well, I feel like, like we need an older trivia. or a newer trivia than that one because it wasn't that dirty. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of just Factual, yeah. I don't know. Like right. Owen's kind of ooh, the syphilis. Uh, <laughs> that was very fun. No, <laughs> uh, seems like Sopranos trivia. She found an old Sopranos trivia. Oh it's yeah, in fucking embarrassing how good I am at it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's I'm embarrassing like, how good I am question. at it. Seriously, Melfi wasn't married to Vito. Who even thinks that? <laughs> 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 fucking ridiculous. Who wrote this? Jesus Christ! Because they try to like send you off the fucking thing with like trick questions. It's bullshit. Yeah. So you do that Sopranos trivia contest? I'll fucking I'll own this town. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, Joe Hotchkiss is, from from Power City Eatery is doing trivia now, um, and he's got like all kind. Of, I ran into him at Tops. People go fucking bluey for that shit, man. Yeah, so I'm. Uh, I'm it's something that I'm thinking about possibly doing for like Monday or Tuesday nights. Um, you know, because it's the slow time of the week, and maybe get a few more people in there, and you know, everybody gets to have fun for a couple hours. You know, uh, he's been doing it. I think at Apple Grannies. I don't know how how big of a hit it is there, but um, you know, he's like, we can do it anytime. You know, that you want, like just make an appointment and we'll yeah. he's like i have he's like i have everything he's like i got seinfeld i got friends i got you know the godfather movies i got oh you know, no, I mean? no, fuck y'all up yeah so he's uh, got all kinds of shit godfather ones are pre- they're pretty uh expansive it's a lot yeah. going on in those they're sure tran- fucking traveling through time and everything like that I all know. over the place they I all know. got crazy italian last names i can't remember all right yeah so that one would be tough probably but I guess at, uh, some people went to the one um, at, at Apple Granny's for Seinfeld, and they said, like, the questions were, like, not what you expected Seinfeld at all. Seinfeld could get fucking creepy. And I watched a lot of Seinfeld. Me too. And I'm like, dude, it's crazy complicated. Yes. You know how many times? Like, people I, were, like, shocked how bad they were at it. Yeah. That, that's what they were saying. Yeah. I think Ryan Henderson would win because he's covered in Seinfeld tattoos. Yeah. So he would know all that shit. I, well. I you know how many times I'm watching something, and you see an actor, and you're like, 
who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> I know that guy. Yeah. It's driving you nuts. And then you finally, I can't, I, I want to think of it myself, but I can't. So I look him up. And then I, I almost stand up and go, that's Lloyd Braun. <laughs> that's Lloyd Braun. Yeah, he always shows up at things. He's just got one of those guys where you're like, I know this motherfucker. He was in um, Police Academy, like yeah. five or something like that. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Police Academy five trivia at the jug. You heard it here first. Come on down, everybody. You're first. <laughs> Police Academy five trivia. Uh, uh, high tower. <laughs> Um, well, there's going to be plenty of fun stuff to do with the jug. There sure is. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Show up. <laughs> what the fuck you want from me? Yeah. Right. Come out. Have a good time. Uh, hopefully, uh, Zini, if you're still listening to the show. Uh, I just, I'll... when I was going through the old ones, one of the old ones is called Zini and Head. Really? It was like episode 25 or That's something. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, hopefully I'll see you next week. Is he uh, down there too? Uh, yeah, he's um, about two hours north. Of people down here went down to Florida. I know he's about two hours north, but his dad lives in Naples. So I was like, "Dude, come visit your fucking father. <laughs> <laughs> Be a good son, and then ditch him and come to the titty bar with yeah, us." Exactly. <laughs> uh, his father. Quick little, uh, quick little funny thing. His father. Um, Walks into bars and, go, and just goes, because uh, for whatever reason, he thinks he invited the, invented the ice pick, which is a vodka and tea. Okay. <laughs> and he goes, give me a Tony tea. <laughs> and they're like, they're like the I fuck? don't know what to do. <laughs> and he's like, you fucking kidding me? He's like, it's just vodka and iced tea. It's not that hard. Give me a Tony tea. <laughs> <laughs> he really he gets mad like, that they're not they don't know it by name. No, he thinks that he invented it and it should be called the Tony T. <laughs> it's not that like right, maybe he did. I don't, I don't want to start any shit, but yeah. it's not that crazy of an idea <laughs> well in florida they don't do vodka and tea which is yeah. so fucking strange because it's would, the yeah. hottest Hot, place yeah. <laughs> in the summer it's the hottest place on earth and a vodka and tea is about the most delightful thing you can have when it's mm-hmm. super hot <laughs> like that yeah. and um so i guess that might be one of the reasons that he thinks he invented it <laughs> maybe they do a vodka and arnold palmer what's that called the vodka tea and it's, lemonade. It's half tea and lemonade, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but what, is that kind of fun name? That's a John Daly. And Arnie P, it's a John Daly? Yeah. Oh, all right, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so, does that kind of funny name? John Daly. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, man, we've talked about that. Like, old school, you, you look at Babe Ruth, there's a fat guy with yeah. a fucking... Cigar, little tiny legs and like a foot long sausage and a oh, pint of whiskey and you're like All the he's time. the best athlete in the country. in the world he's an athlete he's yeah. a professional athlete they one what time, a fucking time they one time they said uh how do you feel about the fact that you made more money than the president this year he goes well i had a better year than he did <laughs> <laughs> and he's funny this guy rules. and he's funny <laughs> got a candy bar named after him that's great <laughs> so yeah good stuff yeah all right well yeah thanks for listening everybody tell your friends spread the word yeah you know we'll keep doing them if you keep digging them and i'll uh, i'll have some good stories for you in two weeks when i get back yeah get the start get collecting bail money <laughs> <laughs> please yeah. all right bye bye This is the Captain's Jug of Thoughts podcast.